Good morning. How you doing this morning? Well, sir, it is a wonderful Wednesday. A great day to be alive in the Lord. Shouting the praises of one we call wonderful counsel of mighty God. to save us in order to save the day because of love the Lord Jesus put himself in harm's way and of course you and I continue after all these years to keep everybody in the house encouraged with this good news we say it's good news that you can use because it transcends the news of the day sometimes there's bad news in this world oh yeah we hear some bad things going on around our world and sometimes maybe you're even experiencing some bad things but they're good news in bad times and that's why the apostle paul encouraged the young man timothy to be instant in season and out of season to preach the word to exhort uh and to, to give instruction uh, with all long suffering why is that? Because the good news of God's word is the power of God. The good news of Jesus Christ is the power of God to work in your life and mine. And the good news about it, it's a settled thing. God has already worked in Christ and was in Christ, not laying our sins to our account, but reconciling us to himself. And not only that, reconciling us to a life that uh, is designed by God. Uh, in fact, as we're taught and we mention often on this broadcast, Second Peter chapter 1 says that we're given all things that pertain to both life and godliness through the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, and who has called us to glory and virtue, given us exceeding great and precious promises that by these we partake of his divine nature, and escape the corruption in this, in this world through lust. So partaking of the divine nature, that is what life is all about. That's what God did when he created us in his image and likeness and breathed into us the breath of life. He imparted his divine nature and it's God's design and will for you and I to live in his divine nature. Now, here's the great thing about living and enjoying and knowing that we have the nature, the spirit, the life of God within us. It is this, with God, there is nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing lacking, nothing wanted, nothing needed. You see, in this life, in our own strength and our ability, we often come to a place of the end of ourselves where we cannot, uh, we have limits to our own human ability. Uh, sometimes we encounter things in this world that uh, are difficult, that could leave us broken from a natural standpoint. But we have 
God and we have his nature within us. And so we have a choice, a decision to partake. What are you partaking of today? You know, there are many things, as I started off saying, that will go on in this world, bad things. But we get to choose good. In fact, the Apostle Paul teaching us to pray in, in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 says, Don't be, don't be uh, anxious, fretful, full of care and worry and fretting about anything, but in everything, in everything, with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And he will cause uh, to his peace to rule and mount guard over your heart, to guard and protect your heart and to provide you what you need. But no, it is as we have to choose to uh, make our requests known with prayer and uh, supplication with thanksgiving. What do all those words mean? It just means petition God, go to him, ask that his kingdom come and his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Be thankful for what he has done in your life like we talked about yesterday. And then once you have petitioned him, uh, you don't have to beg him, just remind him thankfully about his promises and his word and what he said to us. But listen, it doesn't end there. Here's where we often miss it in <clears throat> the completeness of the thought that the apostle shared in, in Philippians 4. He says in verse 8, he said, Finally, my brethren, whatsoever is lovely, whatever is honest, just, of a good report, if it's virtuous, this is praiseworthy. He says, think on these things. Friend, what are you thinking on today? You have a choice of what you allow to rest in your heart and mind. May we choose to allow God and his word and the good things and his goodness. May we choose life today by focusing our thoughts on God, his word, his spirit, his promises, and the love he has for us. And may we be the agent of the same in the lives of others. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosive Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond. We're shouting it out, y'all. Together, we're the difference that makes a difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us. Mobilized his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this wonderful Wednesday, Pete. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, man. I, I, I tell you that, 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 that. Man, you, we, we, we're going to have a, a, a contest, uh, you know, the people that can find some more lines like marvelous and wonderful. Hey, <laughs> and, uh, I, I know we have a lot of interest. We sure will. And I thought we enjoyed you, man. We, we, man, we sure do. And we thank you for just getting us motivated in the morning, getting ready to carry us throughout the day. And we appreciate it. And we look forward to talking to you uh, on uh, Friday, but listening to you on tomorrow with another Christ in Action broadcast. Yes, sir. Keep up the great work as gospel explosion of the dream of change. And have a great day. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, Pastor. Well, all right. Well, hey, <clears throat> let us, of course, go in the strength and the ability of God today. This is the day the Lord has made. And let's look to him who is able and will do exceeding abundant above and beyond all that he, we can think or ask according to his own power at work in us. Let, let the, the only limits of your life be those which are, are what is when God is working according to exceeding greatness of his power in and through you without obstacle, without limitation, without any resistance. And you know what? When you do that, you will live a no limits life because we have a father, we have a God, we have a king, a Lord, a savior, a redeemer with whom there is no limits, who has nothing impossible. God loves himself some you, and we do too. You matter to God. You matter to us. Have a great day. We'll talk to you again real soon.